Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. Hope all is well. In this video, we're going to look at adding rational expressions with linear denominators without common factors. Basic. All right. So again, we want to we have we want to add six over x plus three plus seven over x minus two and simplify the answer as much as possible. So since we have. So let's start over here. Least common multiple of x plus 3 and x minus 2. All right, so uh, the, both factors must be represented. So that's simply x plus 3 times x minus 2 is the least common multiple. All right, so just like we did before, let's make one fraction. with the common denominator of x plus three times x minus two. And then we have to go back to our original fraction and see what we multiplied each one of those fractions by denominators by to get to the new common denominator. So again, uh, I only have x plus three here. So to get to x plus three times x minus two, I know I have to multiply by x minus two. So now that gives me six times X minus two for the first fraction. All right, the second fraction, I have X minus two, but my common denominator is X plus three times X minus two. So I know I had to multiply by X plus three. So seven times X plus three would be in that second numerator. Okay. Now, once you get that set up, then you want to clear your parentheses up top. So let's distribute the six. Distribute the seven. Combine like terms and we should have seven X here. Combine like terms, so I have 6x plus 7x is 13x. And then I have negative 12 plus 21 is positive 9. So I cannot factor anything from the 13x plus 9. So this would be my final answer. So again, we found our least common multiple, x plus three times x minus two, created our, our new common denominator from that, went back to our original fractions to see what we multiplied the original denominators by to get the new common denominator. So the first fraction I had to multiply by x minus two, the second fraction I had to multiply by x plus three. All right, let's try another one. All right, so here we have six over X minus uh, five over X plus two. So the least common multiple of X and X plus two, a monomial and a binomial. Therefore, my least common multiple is X times X plus two. That's my least common multiple. So that's my common denominator. All right, once you find your common denominator, you look to see what you multiply the original denominator by to get to the new common denominator. So my first fraction, I have X. My common denominator is X times X plus two. So I need to multiply this one by X plus two. And again, if you don't see that, take your new common denominator, X times X plus two, divided by the original denominator, which is X, and you see that the X is cancel, so that tells you that you had to multiply by X plus two. All right, so whatever you multiply the bottom by, you have to multiply the top of the fraction by the same thing. So that gives us six times X plus two for the first fraction. The second fraction, 
we had x plus 2. The common denominator is x times x plus 2. So this one I had to multiply by x. It gives me 5 times x in the numerator there. Alrighty, you want to clear the parentheses by using your distributive property. Combine like terms, so we have 6x minus 5x is 1x, so x plus 12. Uh, this binomial of x plus 12 will not simplify with the binomial in my denominator. Remember, we cannot pick apart binomials to simplify with a monomial. So, in other words, this is my final answer. Alrighty, good people. That's all for this video. Hope you found it to be helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.